You made it this far. Now what? So you made it to the end. Nice work. I sincerely hope you found this book useful. I realize it's a little different. Okay, very different. To the majority of diet and exercise books out there that promote extreme tactics, advise cutting out food groups, performing hours and hours of cardio, or taking fat loss pills, powders, and shakes. The thing is, as we discussed at the beginning, any methods like that just don't work long term. Sure, you lose some weight in the beginning, but your mood drops, you get hungry, tired, lethargic, cravings go through the roof, and you become miserable. You can't go out with friends, you have to eat separately to your family, your performance at work and in the gym suffers, and if you stray from your diet even slightly, you feel immense, inconsolable guilt, which then leads you to binging, and soon enough, you're into that disastrous cycle of yo-yo dieting. I'm painting a bleak picture here, but this is what it's like for many women out there, and I don't want that for you. What can you expect going forward? A lot of the females I work with and who read this book ask me what they can expect in the coming weeks and months when following everything outlined here. Well, this is what the vast majority of women find. Week 1. Your motivation levels are high and you're buzzing because you've finally found a plan that doesn't make you tired and miserable. Week 2. You're progressing well, but there's a little doubt in the back of your mind that the weight loss isn't as fast as it would be with a crash or detox diet. I say this to be 100% honest with you. As we said earlier, an extreme diet might result in 5 to 8 pounds of weight loss in the first two weeks, whereas here we're looking at between 2 and 5. Stick with it, though. Any kind of weight loss at this stage is fantastic, especially when you consider you're not banning any foods and what you have lost is purely body fat, no muscle wastage or water loss. Week 4. You're loving it. You've lost another 2 to 3 pounds and can't believe dieting is this easy. You now see exactly why this way of doing things is so much better than a crash diet. Week 6. The weight loss is consistent every single week now and you're getting compliments from friends, family, and colleagues. You've not had to turn down a single invite for a social event and your clothes are fitting so much better. Week 8. You're amazed that you've stuck to the plan this long, as in times gone by, you'd have fallen off the wagon well before this point. Week 10. Bad news. New wardrobe time. Hey, it might be a little expensive, but you're noticing huge changes in your physique, and that calls for new clothes. Keep going and stick with it. From here on in, most women have achieved the body they want, as 10 weeks is enough to lose up to 20 pounds of pure body fat. If you want to lose more, blast extra fat, and tone up even further, then all you need to do is keep following the guidelines and you'll get there. If, however, you've reached the point you want to get to, it's simply a case of maintaining that. To do this, add an extra 200 to 300 calories onto what you've been eating to lose fat and cut out a cardio session too. There's no need to eat and train to lose fat now, so you can make things even easier by increasing your calories slightly and doing a little less exercise. Let's be clear here. You may have a few ups and downs, and it won't always be smooth sailing. I'm not saying you'll never want to go over your calories. You won't always hit your protein intake, and there might be times when you get home late from work and don't make it to the gym. But that's okay. Just think. If someone who was 100 pounds overweight ate one healthy meal and went for a jog, they wouldn't suddenly lose all that body fat and supercharge their fitness, would they? It's the same with you. One or two bad days and a couple of missed workouts don't mean you've lost all your progress. This is all about getting into healthy, sustainable habits and being consistently good, not perfect. I'd rather you were 80% good 100% of the time, then tried to be perfect 24-7, then felt overwhelmed and crumbled. It's a hard concept to grasp, especially when the mainstream media and fitness gurus often tell you that dieting has to be all about sacrifice and training has to be hardcore, but it really doesn't. I promise you, if you follow the practices in here, stay consistent and keep accountable, 
you'll get to exactly where you want to be. Work hard and stay on track, but be kind to yourself, and for the first time ever, you can have fun while losing weight. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.